How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the only tools you need to install vinyl plank flooring and how to use them. Before we get started with the content, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Jobber. Jobber is a software that's specifically tailored to the home service industry, whether you are a painter or like myself, a flooring installer. Jobber makes it really easy to send quotes, send invoices. It does tons of admin work for you. It'll actually text your clients and send reminders. It'll email your clients and send reminders. We're fixing to be coming in 10 minutes. We're going to be coming in an hour. And not only that, Jobber comes with your own one-on-one -on -one personal coach. If you ain't too computer savvy such as myself, you're going to need the extra help. And Jobber supplies that to help you get set up and running with the software. I'm going to leave a link in the description to help you get going. This little box of tools is the only tools you're going to need for your vinyl plank flooring installation. I'm going to show you what's in the box and how to use them. So right here we got everything set out. We have a rubber mallet. Uh, we're going to be needing that for our installation. A tapping block. We're going to also need this and a pull bar and yes absolutely yes probably the most crucial thing about a vinyl plank flooring installation spacers this is very important so let's get to it i'm going to show you what each one of these are for and how to use them the spacers is going to be the first thing that we are going to need to set up our job uh, this is going to be our starting wall. So these spacers actually have three different sizes on each one. I'll go over that really fast. You can see the skinny edge right here. This is a quarter inch and that's going to be for vinyl plank, what we're installing right now. The half inch side is for laminate. We're not doing that, but it will also work for laminate. And the very bottom, if you stand it up like this, you have one inch right across here. That's going to be for a three-quarter solid hardwood installation. We are going to be using the quarter inch since we're dealing with vinyl plank flooring. So to start off on our starting wall, I'm going to take a couple and put right here against the wall and using the quarter inch now. And that gives us a perfect amount of expansion right there. That's what most vinyl plank flooring expansion calls for is a quarter inch. I already have this board pre-cut. So I'm going to go ahead and place my spacers, again, the quarter inch, right down here on the end. It's very important that we have a quarter inch completely around the perimeter. So I'm going to get this right exactly where we need it. And this is going to be where the rubber mallet comes into play. So this is a drop lock system. What that means is I can just lay this piece directly down on these locking mechanisms here and tap it straight down and that's going to lock it together and that is where my rubber mallet is going to come in handy now that's there it's got little lip see that it's not seed in yet it's just sitting there now i'm going to take my mallet and tap it in that's what we want right there now this is all locked together Okay, so we're going to take our next row of vinyl plank and set it right down in the lip like that right there. So you might notice this tapping block has two different lips on it. It has a single on this side and a double lip on this side. For vinyl plank flooring, we're going to actually use the double lip side, okay? So since we now have this setting down in the track where it belongs, we're going to take this and set it right on the edge right there and tap it in did you see so you might have noticed this fell down flat perfectly nice and flat solid on the floor after we tapped it into place this is what we want we do not want our flooring to be like this that is not locked in you can see it moving up and down it's very important that you get it completely seat meaning no movement completely locked into this adjoining plank, okay? Okay, for our next plank, we're going to take and set it right in that track, just like we did on the previous one. We'll give it a little sawing motion, motion there, just to make sure it's completely in the track nicely. So I'm going to give it just a couple wiggles again, make sure it's all the way in there. 
bring it all the way down until it touches our next plank right there and we're gonna stop and lock it in. Now we got it where we want it. I'm gonna take my tapping block again, set right on the edge of it there and get it seat down in the locking mechanism. After this joint here is completely locked in, I'm gonna come back and tap down my end joint making sure everything is flat and completely locked in there nicely. Okay, so that covers the tapping block. It covers the rubber mallet and it covers the spacers. The only thing we got left now to talk about is the pull bar. This thing is super, super handy. Let me show you what it's used for and how to use it. Okay, we are now completely across the room and we have to put our last row of plank in here on this side. That's where our pull bar is going to come in handy we're going to take our final row of planks and we're actually going to put them together directly on top of the installed flooring making sure that it is exactly on top of our previous row okay okay so i'm feeling this bottom tongue here and the top tongue i want to make sure that they are exactly even all the way down through here Everything feels really good. Now I'm gonna take me and just a small piece of existing plank that has not been affected. It has the complete width, tongue, and everything. And I'm gonna use it to make my marking with. So I'm gonna take my scrap piece now, put it directly on top. Now keep in mind, this is directly on top of my bottom piece. Put my board there and just make a mark all the way down my board just like that making sure this piece stays against the baseboard and this piece don't move okay now we're going to take and score that and snap it right off okay so I'm going to go ahead and place this there uh, making sure I have a quarter inch here push it all the way to it now you can see how this is raised up here that will not fly we got to get that seated in there properly I'm going to take the wide point of this not the little narrow point this is for the hammer I'm going to take that set it down on there you might notice it's got little pieces of felt or foam on the bottom to keep it from scratching up your flooring so I'm going to just hook it on right there and give it a little tap back right there scoot it down a little bit another little tap right on down what that does is it pulls it right in hence the name pull bar it seats it all down in there nice and flat no movement or anything like that we're going to do our next piece the very same way we're going to use the little saw motion again just to make sure this is seated down in there right against our other plank right there and again with the pull bar tap a roo tap a roo and tap a roo now that we have that locked in we're going to take and tap down our joint now there we go we have our expansion we still have our expansion on the back and everything is in place now this pull bar comes in super handy up against walls like that especially underneath the toe kicks on cabinets and stuff where you cannot get a pry bar okay so that wraps it up we have went over all the tools that is packaged up in this little kit right here again you can get this at home depot this little package of tools is all you're going to need to install a room of vinyl blank flooring thank you guys for tuning into the channel until next time fbsb's out